so it, it's been around a long time. We tend to think about it and understand it in terms of the current cultural emphasis on being thin and fit, especially for women in our society. But there's a lot of reason to think it's been around much long, longer than the cultural emphasis. So we are back in the 14th century of the Italian saints. If they were to be dropped into our pits, today might get diagnosis of anorexia nervosa. In the 1350s, uh, Saint, Cath uh, Saint Catherine of Siena, uh, she was uh, now diagnosed as holy anorexia. At that time, it was also, uh, uh, at that time, uh, we know this as a holy anorexia, also referred as holy anorexia. Anorexia mirabilis was an eating disorder most prevalent during the Middle Ages of Europe. It poses the same hallmark of the modern disease, a refusal to eat but originating from a spiritual source as opposed to an aesthetic one. Many religious women, primarily Catholic ones, believe that starving themselves was a way to prove their connection to Jesus and his divine struggles. While fasting was a common religious practice, these women would refuse to cease despite instruction from seniors. And Richard Morton in his book, Treaties of on consumption mentioned a disease, nervous consumption, which was similar to anorexia nervosa. In 1873, <laughs> Charles Lessing called it as hysterical anorexia, and 1874, William Gull named this as anorexia nervosa. So, anorexia nervosa is a time se hai, and just after the world, so curious, banane ke liye, William Gull, who was uh, Queen Victoria, the personal physician, the orator. भी देखी होगी किसी ने जैक द रिपर तो उसमें सीरियल किलर है फिक्शनल है बाद में कहा गया क्योंकि वो मर्डर मर्डर ऐसा करता था कि देख के लगता था कि उसे बहुत एनाटॉमिकल नॉलेज है इसलिए वो विलियम डेली से पारी फिक्शनल है क्योंकि एट दैट टाइम उनके एज 80 इयर्स थे और वो बीमार थे तो ऐसा नहीं कर सकते थे पर वो बहुत फेमस है क्योंकि उन्होंने टर्म दिया एनोरेक्सिया नर्वोसा एनोरेक्सिया नर्वोसा इज नॉट द राइट टर्म फॉर इट बिकॉज़ एनोरेक्सिया मीनिंग लॉस ऑफ एपिटाइट बट पीपल इन दिस कंडीशन they don't lost their appetite. They only suppress it. Book leggy on it, but they don't eat it because they want to stay fit. So they want to stay fit. Then they want to stay fit. Bulimia nervosa was first described as a variant of anorexia in 1979 by British psychiatrist Gerald Russian and shared Egyptians doctors advised people to purge their stomach. Monthly stem from the belief that the food itself was the cause of human disease. Similar to anorexia of Mirabilis, Persing was abused in religious settings. Saint Veronica was recorded to have done so in retribution for giving into the temptation of God. Binge eating disorder, a subset of binge eating disorder called night eating syndrome, was first described by the American psychiatrist Albert Stern and in 1959. So, this is like the DSM 5, all these disorders are included in eating disorders in DSM 5. I will not mention all of them, but mostly in starting with fiber, immunization disorder and avoided. I will leave only a few lines for them. And then we will, in detail, we will discuss about anorexia and arbosa, bilimia and arbosa, binge eating disorder. So, fiber, persistent eating of non-intuitive, non-food substance over a period of at least one month. Avoided restrictive food intake disorder and eating of feeding disturbance as manifested by persistent fellow and or energy needs associated with one of the following and a significant weight or significant nutritional deficiency dependence on adrenal feeding marked interference with psychosocial functioning rumination disorder repeated regurgitation of food over a period of at least one month now we will start with anorexia nervosa i will give you a cross sectional view of anorexia nervosa so it is characterized by Relentless pursuit of thinness, a drive to be thin that sort of knows no bounds and will accept no contradiction, accompanied by an intense fear of gaining weight or becoming fat, and death despite the fact that these things by definition are significantly <coughs> underweight. And often dramatically, as they lose weight, they become more afraid of becoming fat, the skinnier they become, the more terrified they are 